I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise I call Siamese Force because I have category cards that I pre-select and I force myself to play hands in those categories specifically. There's two reasons why I like to do this. One is it forces me to play throughout the card. It keeps me from playing my favorites, namely addition. I avoid that category for some reason. Let's see if I pick it. The other reason I like to do this exercise is because when I play in a tournament, they usually have a prize for the first hand in any given category on that card, or they'll even pick a specific hand. And this exercise trains me to force hands. Maybe I'll come home a winner. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. My nemesis. All right, let's roll the dice and see which player we're going to be. Player one or player two. If I roll an odd number, we'll be player one. If I roll an even number, we'll be player two. I rolled a seven, so we'll be player one for this first random pull. We'll get 28 tiles. Here's a pung of sevens and a white dragon. We'll see what happens there. Now we need to find another hand to play with the rest. So we'll play a quint here. Multiples, we have a four and a nine. Whatever we have the most of, I'm thinking One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Consecutive run. Joker bait. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Anytime I play consecutive run, I collect four numbers in a range around my multiples the four, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four. For example, here, one of the hands we could maybe play is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This would be the fourth hand down under consecutive run. Another hand we could play is one through five, the very first one, use this as joker bait. We could maybe do Let's see, three, four, three, four, consecutive run, concealed pung hand. We don't have any flowers though. I don't think we can use this one. I think this is how I would play it. Quint, consecutive run. You really don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. I think the most likely if I had to pick a hand would be one, two, three, four, five, mixed suit, five number range, consecutive run hand, fourth one down. So we got one of the hard ones out of the way, Quint. Obviously we need another joker and white dragons and we need help with that co the consecutive run. This will take work, but the tiles are there and we have joker bait. Let's go to the next one. I rolled a six, so we're going to be player two this time. 
player two. We'll get 27 tiles. Okay, let's scout for multiples. We have a pear, 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 flower, red, six, two, eight. I think we should do something with two, four, six, eight. Maybe even a two, four, six, eight pear hand. Let's see. Six, eight, two, four, eight. Okay, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Singles and pairs. Right there, singles and pairs. Two, four, six, eight, second hand down. Pair of flowers, two, four, six. We got a gap. Eight, pair, pair. We're one away, all, one away from a gap, I should say. We need, a, we need to fill this gap. As an option, I think I would keep uh, the eight maybe because we could fall back to a two, four, six, eight hand, just regular. Now down here, the options we have are odds, year, and addition. We have no white dragons. We do have a one and an eight, one, eight, but no white dragon, no two. We got a two up here. I'm wondering if we could play something with five, seven, nine. It'd be nice if we could use these. Five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine. Hmm. Maybe this could be a seven crack. And we could play five, seven, nine, then the dragon. This would be what's called a knitted hand because it kind of weaves through. So I think what I would probably do here. Play the two, four, six, eight pair hand. Hold the eight for options with two, four, six, eight category. Then down here, play five, seven, nine, big odds. Hold this for joker bait or this for joker bait. Five, seven, nine, big odds. Discard those. So we have singles and pairs and odds. If you would do something different with these tiles, let me know. Everybody sees something a little different. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. This is what I see. Okay, we're going to go on to the last one. Let's hope for flowers and white dragons. I rolled a six, so we're going to be player two. Okay, here we go. Year in addition. We have no white dragons, but we do have 218. And we do have Ness. We can use that for the white dragon. Discard those. Now we got to make addition work. 5 7, 5 7. 
Five seven twelve. Five seven twelve. That's going to be rough. Or let's see, we have options here. Eight four. Five seven. Most likely, we've got Joker bait. Let's see right here and here. I'm thinking this is how I would play this. That's really bleak. This might be a winner though. So what I would do here, okay, eight discards. News, year hand, concealed. Last one under the year. Here, I would play seven, five, 12. We got a big gap and only one flower, but we've got two joker bait. Hold these as long as possible. Discard these and gather. Maybe hold the eight because we could do eight, four, 12. This for sure could be joker bait. So I would throw these first. Addition, year. Let me know what you think about this choice. This could be a winner. This one, that is going to be an underdog in the race for sure. If you have a Mahjong set at home, get it out and try this exercise. It really does force you to see things that you might not normally be looking for, especially if you play your favorites. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Force for National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.